Mary Idy was experiencing some rather strange symptoms. I noticed that I was having face swelling. I went to the doctor. We did all the tests done for um, sinus and teeth problems and nothing came back. And so we really didn't know what it was. As so many frequently do, Mary assumed it was nothing important and went on with her life. But other symptoms began to appear. Down the way a little bit, I started getting tremors. They were in my hands that I noticed, but other people would notice when I was sitting still at church or other, or my daughter would notice, it would she be in my head. Tired. And when I was tired, my head would bob. I didn't really realize that. Finally, one day, it became clear that something was very wrong. I was coming home from my daughter's and I could not remember to how to shut off the lights on the bright lights. And when I got home the next day, I went to my local doctor and said, I need something done. An MRI revealed that Mary Idy had a tumor. It was called um, vascular hormonal meningioma. That was the legal name of it. And it was in the right front lobe of the brain. She was referred to the Detroit Medical Center's Harper University Hospital to see Dr. Mark Horniak, a neurologist who specializes in the skull base, issues in the lower part of the skull. So we're talking about usually underneath the brain. And this is an area that is very complex. There are, this is where the arteries come up from the neck to feed the brain with food and oxygen. This is where a number of nerves leave exit directly from the brain and go out to the face and neck to subserve very important and animalistic functions but they include the special sensory organs so um, sight hearing taste they include very basic functions like swallowing gagging what that boils down to it's uh, it's tumors in difficult locations that require difficult access Dr. Horniak told Mary she had a tumor slightly larger than a golf ball behind her right eye in a difficult area to reach. It was growing around and pressing on her optic nerve. The tumor was not cancerous, but it threatened her sight and could become cancerous in time. What was the odds that he gave you in terms of surgery? Well, 10% I could lose my life, and then 50% that I could have a stroke or go blind. This uh, particular procedure is a procedure that um, I specialize in where the tumor itself is within a structure called the cavernous sinus. And that is a uh, blood-filled venous sac of blood. And through the middle of the sac run a number of these very important nerves. It is extremely delicate surgery. Cut too far into the sac and the patient can lose motor control in her eyes. So uh, the purpose of this operation was to remove the wall of the sac first, not going into the sac, remove all the tumor that's outside of it. We do that without even entering the coverings of the brain by lifting the brain away uh, and the, with its coverings. And then, only after we've performed that dissection, uh, do we open up the coverings of the brain and perform a, a typical, more typical brain surgery. Mary spent 14 hours in surgery and came through very well. I came from a small town, so I was kind of scared when I went into a big hospital and didn't know anybody, but I did, and it was really a good experience, even though it was there for something that was terrifying. I have to say the care that, that, um, that we received at the center there, I mean, the, the doctors, everyone was, was so helpful, and they were, and cheerful. It's almost like being a, in a family. Mary Idy says she's doing well now and her symptoms are mostly gone. I'm doing pretty good. I get tired and other things like that, but I, as far as that, I'm doing really good. Yeah. So I had a good experience. I really did. I mean, even though it was a rough experience and recovery's been up and down, but I'm doing, as you can see, I'm doing pretty good. Visit us here at dmc.org to learn more about skull-based tumor surgery or to make an appointment with Dr. Mark Horniak and the DMC skilled neurology team. For the Detroit Medical Center, I'm Emory King.